one to Jeff Lewis Obsessed, where we recap Jeff Lewis Live every night at 6 o'clock California time. I'm Sarah in Texas. I like I'm it. Kelly you got, in California. You look blushy. You've got pink lipstick on. I was a little sweaty. I'm taking down the Halloween decorations and putting up the Thanksgiving decorations. Thank you so much. So I was running around. How a much bit. Thanksgiving do you do? I flush. have a lot of generic pumpkin-y stuff. Um, I did take down my witch, but I do that on, I have a scary witch on uh, the front porch. I take that down after, after Halloween. Um, yeah, sorry. And then I have a few little trinkets that are Thanksgiving-y, like Native Americans, I don't I, know, you know, little statues. I go all out. I go all out. So we start in September. Uh, September starts fall. We have lots of leaves and apples and then it transitions to pumpkins and squashes and things like that. And then once Halloween's over, then I put out like the more things. In, the, in your house or school? And, and bows. Yep. Wow. And in my house. It's all for me. There's lights I involved. The whole I production. told my friend Julie, I don't even know how long ago, nine or 10 years ago, I said, come over and let me know, er, take everything you want. Like I was just so done storing all of my oh. Halloween stuff. And then I started I teaching know. and I'm like, oh my God, all of that Halloween or I had so much holiday stuff, just every season. And I'm like, oh, I could have had all this stuff for the house. And then what I didn't want, I could have actually brought to my school and used. But, oh, well, I told you, I'm a massive donator. Yes. And I always do that right before I need something again. I just end up rebuying it. Uh, I wish we lived closer because I would have, I mean, I love free stuff. So anything that anybody gives away, I love it. I would love to take pictures of my decor. I just don't feel it's appropriate on my chump account. I mean, I put up my witch but that's because I figured Jeff would think it was like scary. My scary witch. Maybe I'll do it. We'll see, um, we'll see how I feel. I just thought scary I, was gonna, I don't know what I was going to say. Um, real quick before we get before we get started, um, don't forget tomorrow is Cook and Kibbits, also known as Kibbles and Bits. <laughs> I, I almost can't unhear Kibbles it. And bits. I literally had to look up the old commercial today and, and put a story up about it. Like since uh, Kelly Dodd said it. I saw... And Stu said it too on one of I taped it and he said kibitz and bits. So I know. Apparently Hilarious. it's a thing now. But um, I think it's tomorrow cute. night. So tomorrow, tomorrow night, five, five o'clock California time, Pacific, on Doug Buden, Doug B U D I N's Instagram Live. If you don't already watch it, I think almost all of us already watch it, but he and Chef Stu will be on together making a dressing yes. for Thanksgiving. Apparently, dressing is a fancier word for stuffing. Yes, I'm sure it is. But you know what? I wanted to say to Stu, I think it's really kind of strange that you called it rustic sausage stuffing. Because when you say sausage stuffing, that implies the image of somebody stuffing sausages in their ear hole, their nose hole, their mouth hole, their butt hole, their vagina hole. So you call it stuffing with sausage. You don't call it He's not. He's calling stuffing. it a sausage dressing. Well, uh, no, 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 no. Before earlier, he said it was um, sausage, rustic sausage stuffing. And I was like, that sounds like a bunch of people out in like a farm sticking sausages up their butts. You need to call it <laughs> dressing no, with that's, sausage. That's no? new that's going that's into leap. the body that's orifices of stuffing sausages. Nobody else thought that. Everyone yes. else thought it was a nice meal to put on our Thanksgiving table. No, Kelly thinks it's shit going up our anus and our vagina and our ears and, and our nose. What the hell, Kelly? You need some dick. You need some dick, Kelly. You don't call it. It's, it's not sausage stuffing. It's dressing with sausage. I'm sorry. <laughs> English is a second language. Anyways, tomorrow night... Um, tune in. I don't think it's going to be on Stu's Instagram, so make sure you go to Doug Buden's Instagram. No. What kind of farms are you hanging out at? Somebody Absolutely. Said. Hey, I don't want to tell you, but I've seen some <laughs> You know what I wish I was when I, well, when I grow up, I'm 49, you think I could get a new career? Um, an ER doctor. Can you imagine? I want to be the one that gets all that shit stuck up people's butts and vaginas. Andy Cohen no. and John Hill today were talking about a friend of theirs who had a tampon stuck up her for two months, and she was yes. thinking that a guy smelled. I heard that, and she was like, "Imagine it smelled." Oh my yes. god! Can you imagine? 
If I could tell, if I ever never have to be a teacher again, I will tell you a story about a stuck in tampon and, and how horrible it was. No, it I happens. actually have heard of that. If and, you're sleepy, and, and, and and it you causes that realize, toxicity thing. Yes. Doesn't it? But three months. I love that she's calling three months. Saying, I mean, you're God, this guy like stinks. And they're like, I don't know. Men don't really stink. I mean, like. You know, girls get juices and, and you know, her. but guys don't really smell. She's like, no, this guy <laughs> smells. It was her own self. Ugh. Can you imagine? She must have smelled so bad. She, if she could smell it, 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 that's the thing. I'm saying that when I've done that Can before. Can you imagine the guy the going, this times, lady is and disgusting. <laughs> Gross. And she had to dig all around to find it. Oh, yes, oh. Andy had a date, and it sounded, hello, Chris, and it sounded like um, there's going to be a second date. He's already confirmed it, so if anyone wants to listen, listen to uh, Andy. Yes. And also, Matthew Perry's interview with him is actually really good. Um, I love autobiography, so I might actually read it. I tuned out. I tuned out. I, I listened when he was talking to Cameron Crowe and when him and John were going back and forth, but Andy sounded really Yeah, he about did. The he sounded hopeful and like there was going to be a, and then we're making out he said perfect i didn't Jose, use a making the door, out part andy doorman they andy cohen they were making yes he gave him he a kiss out as with he walked dude him in home. front of the building he's no no there was more than that okay. i think he was I making out with them huh because he was embarrassed he was embarrassed that he was embarrassed that the doorman pervy jose had saw yeah. him smacking uh, it up i loved it um he also said uh Oh, shit, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, they did Bruce talk Springsteen? about that in the Howard interview. I didn't listen to that, but um, probably should have. They were talking about how young uh, Bruce Springsteen looked and all the work he's probably had done. Anyways, it was a wet Wednesday. Let's chat about Julie and Brandy. They are definitely some fan favorites. Um, I thought the show went by really fast. It was one of those days where I was just like, oh, my God, it's it over. It did. See, that's why I wanted to be two hours. But yes, it went by really quick. It was fun. I I, I think we were um we've been missing them. They hadn't been on for a couple of weeks, I so they it's were always nice when they Thursday, come back. But you're right. I don't think were it they, was last week that they were on. I think they're every two weeks. But yeah, it was. It, yeah, they're, they're and it hoot. sounded hoot. like Jeff like hoot. was laughing so hard whenever they all got wet on that ride. That sounded so funny. Yes, and they. I love that they were like yes. really that they made him laugh so hard they were like we had the best time and yes and of Julie course is all in they even watched um barbarian yesterday during the day i told you i've committed to watching it tomorrow i, I wish we could watch i could facetime together. you how do you how do you watch something together i've seen that something on facebook you can watch stuff together I don't know. I don't know. But you know what I did hear um, from Julie and Brandy's uh, Dumb gay politics what or they the call Patreon? Did you, did you spend a dollar? Because you know they're poor. The, no, I have to update my credit card. But no, they oh, called yeah. it haunted and wet or whatever. What I heard is that they dropped mushrooms and they were high on mushrooms. They didn't say that today, so I wasn't going to put it out there. But they did say it on their podcast. Why anybody would want to go to something terrifying and crazy and then drop a hallucinogenic? I hope they were kidding. Oh I just God, can't imagine I'm that. Sort of. Well, is that called microdosing? Is that what everybody's the rage now? Nowadays is microdosing? No, no, no. Yeah. That's their brandy's not microdosing anything. They're doing they're doing it all. So no, well, I think that they were high on. Okay, my that makes me even I a little heard. more concerned because they separated from the group at the very end of the night, and Jeff's like, "Oh no, Peter, the RIP tour guide, personally walked us to our car," and they're like all roaming around. Yes, you know when you're lost. Okay, we've been lost somewhere. Remember when we were lost in the Beverly Center um, <laughs> parking garage and we were dying. <sighs> fucking parking lot it was hot yes we could not horrible. find your car anywhere was that like 45 minutes it was <laughs> no it was almost an hour it was almost an hour and also with julie and brandy like they said when you're with a big no. group of people things aren't as scary but when it's just yourself and a couple other and you're having to walk through everything and there's people jumping out and scaring you 
I was like, I would love to go to something like that. I don't know if I had the wherewithal yeah. to not like hit yeah. people. Who was it? Um, Julie said she was at the you doctor I mean? one time and he put something, you know, a shot in her knee or did something and she accidentally kicked him. Oh, yeah. That sounds legit, though. I mean, kicked I don't think him. that was her fault. I mean, you know, your knee is a is a reaction thing, right? Anytime I've ever gotten a pedicure, I always end up kicking people oh, because I ticklish? cannot. I'm so sensitive. My feet are so oh, I don't kick them, but yes, I'm like very, dying very, very. for like a solid 30 seconds to a minute whenever I get a pedicure it's, every single time. It's involuntary. I can't control it. It just shoots out. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. So I really don't like to go. Lisa because, says, I need a BFF but... who will watch stuff with me without actually hanging out. No, I actually want to be with Kelly. I would love to. I love when we're together. Yeah, we do have. Yes, we have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. But I'm so, I'm so excited you get to. I'm going to have my shutters up. And I know Alyssa didn't like it. It's probably going to make my bedroom be a little darker, which I'm not happy about. I'd forgotten my husband took the kids and saw that movie in the theater. Yeah, Yeah, they see all the scary movies in the theaters. Yeah. and if you are going into it going like, oh, this part's fake. Oh, I can see this. Then you're ruining the story. It's really okay. good. It has a lot of twists and turns. The bad people that you think are going to be bad are yeah. the bad people. Well, they kind of ruined it. And mother, mother, Megan, is actually a very lovely I just want to see the tips personally. I want to see if uh, I think they're good or not. I didn't think they were that bad. Are they I full really on? Like, I'm just like, yeah, seeing a little low, but. Oh yeah, it, it actually it's a, the actor wait, is a wait, man. Wait, He's a six wait, foot five what? man, and they put yes because they wanted somebody really tall and scary looking. So he's very thin. He's very tall, and he has a whole so body. So they're not real on. tits. What? No. Okay, I'm so confused. Don't ruin any more no. for me. I'm so confused. I don't even know if I'm going to watch anymore. I thought I was going to watch <laughs> Tits tomorrow. <gasps> You didn't like it? I thought I was see boobs. Never mind. You'll see boobs. They're just prosthetic boobs. It's still good. Tits. Watch it. Um, I mean. Well, touch your own bitch. Anyways, <laughs> I did love whenever Jeff talks about food and he got a footlon hot dog and some Doritos at um, Universal. That was, he just eats some shit. Okay, so then I was trying to figure it out. So Friday night, they had foot-long hot dogs and Doritos. Saturday, they overdid, overdid it on pizza. And then, I, what was it, Thursday, he got a smoothie and Fritos. Who eats Fritos with a Who eats Fritos anyway? Fritos are delicious. Those eat chili fr- cheese ones dipped in that bean dip. Oh, my. Bean dip Those are fine. so good. That little Those are Fritos fine. bean dip. Oh, my God. Yes. That one's fine. But a Frito... It reminds me of a dog's paw. So the fact that you would eat a, like you were about to faint because you gave so many uh, vials of blood and then you got a smoothie smoothie and you picked I think Fritos it was with it? He had to go to the store next door. He loves a Chevron. He loves a little gas station action. You know, he yeah, likes all that do. junk food stuff. Remember in Flipping Out mm-hmm. and even Hollywood I'm Houses, sorry, they would go and get like a bag of chips these- and uh, yes. what would he usually get? Um, well, the, yeah. The dip is in the chips. Or- the dip is in the chips. Yeah. And he also likes the, he likes the meat stick. I bet he does. Oh. What's it called? Oh, What's a lot called? of Slim, Slim Jim. Jim. Um, we had those little ones yeah. and my daughter, it was leftover from her lunch yesterday. She threw it on the table. I totally ate it today. You know what I made today? And I, you know, I'm not, I don't eat cows, but today I did eat a cow. It was, I made pigs in a blanket That's with the little cow? beaners. The, oh, the beef. beef ones. Yeah. So you can get beef or pork, and I, I don't, I, pigs are pets, and so are cows. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I the fact that Jeff, somebody's saying Saturday they went to Craig's. I mean, literally, when he said he answered uh, that okay. local phone call because he thought it was a reservation, he wasn't going to miss his reservations, he must spend, how much do you think? We need to do the math on what he spends in a year. In well, a I just want to do a week because he eats out for lunch, and the only bill he has at home is really breakfast. So I'm going to say during the week, because he not only is yes. eating for himself, he takes a lot of people out to dinner. He said he was going out tonight, Thursday, and another night. So I think he's probably spending like two grand a week on takeout in restaurants. I, it's so expensive yeah. when you're drinking and you're leaving tips and you're 
giving people <laughs> tips so that you get a table and, and you get the valet. So a hundred, like, a honey, I mean, a hundred, hundo, a hundo. And I think also, I think also that, yeah, I think he spends probably about two grand. He is week rich. On food. But you know what? He said it's a tax write-off, and I don't know completely how that works because I'm poor, so I don't know that tax bracket. But I'm like, I know he writes a lot of stuff off, so he doesn't mind. But he spends a lot Literally. of money. Literally, but I others. think Jeff is he like does. me. I think he's very by the book. Like I let our accountant lady do all of our stuff, and she always gets us more money back than I would uh -huh. ever do because I would be so by the book. So I just figure, you know what? I'm paying you a little bit of money to get us the most money back. And um, I feel like she knows, but if I were doing my taxes, which I've never in my life done my own taxes, I would be so conservative that I would probably end up owing money back to them. I don't even know. So I think Jeff is like me, very by the book. And he's just um, like, talk if Travis says I can write all this yeah. off, then I'm going to, because he knows all the laws. But if not, I don't feel like he right. would, right? Right. Somebody asked how much a shots he asked how much he earns at Sirius. I probably think that his contract five days a week was something like a million. I don't know if that's true or not, or if that's shooting too high. But I think it's definitely a lot more. I don't think the most of his income comes from Sirius. I think it's from property and real estate, to be honest. I have no idea how much he would make. Um, if I were to guess, I would say one point five to two million a year. Do you think that's the new contract? With his, I don't with know with the new contract or do, yeah. But he's not Paul. I think he. I'd say with the new contract, I'd say a three year? to four million. I really do. I think he's a very. Yeah, I think he's a very hot. And you know what? At, at, I don't know serious. if this makes a difference, but California, you have to be paid a lot more, don't y'all? Everything costs more, but don't y'all paid more? So I'm not taking into. I'm thinking of Texas money yes. versus California money. Money goes a lot farther in Texas here. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. So I make a lot of money, Somebody but I don't have a lot of money. Five million dollars. I mean, oh, I think shit, five million. As much as he goes to um I what's the what's the hill Pelican Hill? Good lord. The VIP, the RIP. Oh my God. I mean, literally, his credit card bill, my credit card bill shocks me every month. I'm like, God damn, how did I spend that much money? Then I gotta go to the bank thing and pay it all and yeah. whatever you but I'm like, can you imagine his credit card bill every month? And he gets, a, he spends a lot of cash. He freaking goes to Wells Fargo all the dang time. I know. I know. He needs his own <laughs> ATM machine. Literally. Oh, my goodness. Um, I love really? whenever they said they, they line people up according to their income. And he was in the back. And they were like, even Monroe's at the front of us. Shane's in front of us. Kean's in front of us. <laughs> and even Car Carver and Patrick, the kiddies. I'd be back there with them. I I'd do like, feel time. like, I mean, I think, do they really go on tour? I mean, I feel like, why don't they go on tour and make some money? You know? Yeah, they did. They just Julie did a show Randy. in Las Vegas with Heather McDonald. But, um, you know, wouldn't you think they'd make money on a tour? Do they not want a tour, maybe? Yeah, I think they would. But I think it takes a lot of work. I think they have a lot of stuff that they're yeah. planning and they're writing for other than just the podcast. So I think that when you go on tour, like Heather and, and Fortune and all those, you have to write oh, material yeah. and have a whole new shebang. Um, I would love to go and watch just a live podcast of theirs, but I don't know how many I've done that before. Want. I think it's super. I mean, I guess Heather McDonald's. I did it with the guys um, Watch What Crappens Live because a friend of mine told me about that. I thought it right, was so lame like to just sit there and watch them speak into the microphone about the podcast i was like oh my god anyways it's not my thing but when heather yeah. mcdonald when i saw her in new york city it wasn't really like that it wasn't really a comedy show but it was more her talking about stuff maybe she did put it out as a podcast i didn't listen but um it was way more interactive and she had guests and stuff i thought it was really good And, you know, I think also that Jeff would really make a lot of money, I think, I, if he did live shows on the road. Because his show isn't just a podcast. He has lots of guests. And I know he can't because it's a live, maybe it could be a live radio show. But if, I think if he sold tickets to that, that that, that would be awesome. People he would loves go to money. that to want to so see that. So he must know what makes money and what doesn't. 
I don't think the traveling outweighs because I think he likes very small venues and I think he's well aware what he can sell out. I mean, he's not a stadium kind of guy. Give me a break. Right. You know what I mean? Is he has very no, loyal no, no. Yeah. listeners, fans, followers, community, whatever you want to call it. Um, but they're not right. huge numbers. I mean, he's not Chris Rock type selling out shit. But I also think it the venues lead themselves to smaller. But they're coming up on a year. His last show was the Burbank show you and I were at together, November 15th, 2021. I know. But I also don't think he's in the best health. Somebody said something about Monroe. Also, I just don't think he has. And, and when you're on going on tours, it's a lot. Well, and it's I think to on travel it's all those easy. people. It's, it's, a room, getting all the schedules. Yes. I think doing it in California, there's so many fans in California, but there's also fans like me that would actually fly out. And ever since I flew out by myself to meet right. y'all and Cheryl from Van Nuys and everyone else, um, so many people have reached out and said, oh my God, tell me next time you do that. I would totally do that with you. Um, I tried to find people on the Facebook groups and just couldn't get anyone last minute to go to, to right. California with me, but. Anyways, but I think doing it in California is perfect. Yeah. It works for me. Just tell me when to be there, Jeff. <laughs> exactly. People are asking about Andy. He's a, dating. We don't I know think he was a 36-year-old he guy. He, he didn't really say anything about him. Like a regular guy. I don't even, Oh, you know where I think he met him? I think he met him Halloween night. Instagram. No, he said on Instagram. Oh, I don't know why I thought he met him Halloween night. He met him. He was a friend of a friend, and he pursued Andy for a long time on Instagram. And Andy oh, was just that. like, "All right, let's do it." Although and they you know had what, a great experience. I still hold yeah. up hope for him and John Hill. I absolutely do. I don't know what the holdup is. I love or um, <laughs> Cooper Anderson Cooper, but is Anderson with someone? No, or did friends. he just have a baby daddy? I'm so he's really private. That. He's so private with his life, understandably. Yeah, I think Andy will forever oh, be friends yeah. with um, Anderson and John. Oh, uh, no sexual I, thing I, there anymore. I can anymore. dream, right? I can dream. And I don't know. I don't know if Anderson's top or bottom. He gives me bottom reason, energy. He gives me bottom energy. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Jenny. I, Jen, I would totally, we would totally take you with us to, um, who's in a relationship? Andy? Oh, Anderson yes. is, Chris says. Okay. Anderson. Well, I'm happy for him then. I love that. He's real private. I love when they yeah. do videos that they do together, um, like dad stuff. Oh my God, I love them so much. Um, let's plug real quick. Um, Dumb Gay Politics is the free podcast. They do it drops every Tuesday. That's at Brandy or Julie and andbrandy.com. And then on Patreon, there's a dollar episode and they, they do two a week. So that means they're doing three podcasts a week that is a lot we do five it is a lot three. i always get confused <laughs> I, exactly and patreon i'm still gonna say it it's not user friendly i still I haven't even tried that shit out. I, I, and i've heard jewel i heard heather mcdonald i went to go to is excellent like the top notch one is i heard it's excellent Well, and she also does a thing now where she only allows a certain number of people to be in the top tier of her Patreon. So um, I tried to go, on, like you posted uh, Julian Brandy's link for their uh, stuff, and I tried to go to it, and it was like, update your uh, card. And I was like, oh, fuck, I'll do it later. We're going to give some sex yeah, information so. again. So Stephanie is curious, are tops and bottoms always the same? No. Sometimes they are, but there's people called a verse, which means versatile, and it means depending on who they're with, or the same person, you could sometimes be a top, you could sometimes be a bottom. But I think people have their preferred preferences, their preferences. And yes. I think you're either a top or a bottom in general, but I don't know. Yes. Chris, you want to let us know what you think? Yes. Like we, yeah, like we've heard they, Andy I mean, they, and they Jeff said are it tops. pretty much. We've heard that, yes. Doug, Jameson, Shane are bottoms only because they've said it passively yep. and we just figured it out. And do we feel like is Thank a you. verse? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot talk about we're the here again. Life, but that's we're all we seem to do. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> we're very know, curious. We're curious. Speaking of sex life, sort of, uh, I don't know if we touched on this. I did on, I did an Instagram story. 
Um, Zach Noe Towers got a little handsy with Jeff yesterday. We don't even see that public display between Jeff and Stu. I was a little bit like, Stu and Jeff need to give us a little kiss, a little hand holding. I want a picture of them from the bed right. with their feet just like watching TV. Is that too much to ask? You'll never get that. You'll I'm never get that. I'm literally going to request it. That. I'm so freaking But like I think one year anniversary, Valentine's. I think that um, I'm red. Jeff I'm was probably sure. like, oh, Zach has his Zach's, Zach has this arm around me. And, I um, mean, he's it was not even around him. So his okay. fingers were like at the front of his rib cage. I'm like, back off, dude. I love you, Zach, but he back was, the fuck off. He's stooped. He was snatching him. He, he was snatching him. He was trying to make him look skinnier. That's all. Uh, I already see Jeff lighting up. I don't know what that means. Um, yeah, he would never post a picture like that. I would love it, but he would never. Um, yeah, I love that it took Jeff and Stu three days to watch the movie Barbarian. Watch me start it tomorrow, and I'll probably it's stop even... it. I'll get distracted. I mean, literally. No. Two you hours are the glued long to the screen. Time. I don't know I what those... I can't stand that 90 Day Fiance, Girl. some of those episodes are two hours, and I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, that's because you have to deal with commercials and bullshit. I'm telling you, you will be in, well, I, it, it's action okay. that things are changing so quickly that you're just going to be like, that's why I don't understand what those two are doing. They're probably playing <laughs> handsy with each other, wanting to have boom, boom. Well, they're stopping, they're going to the back. I mean, Jeff must pee 700 times a day. It sounds like that's all the man does. Is I'm just pee. like him. Yes, it's a, it's a, it's it's torture when you have to go. You're like, changing the toilet. It sucks. Um, I do love that Stu. Rem well, did Stu really remember to get him water, or he forgot? But he did go back down to get him a water. I'm still surprised he doesn't have a mini fridge upstairs and just keeps about five or ten waters upstairs, like in a in a closet, in a master clo primary closet. Can't say master anymore. Well, he's. He said that Zoila, when he fell down the stairs, told Aurora she needs to keep waters upstairs in the laundry room for him. So maybe but he yeah, wants but if you did a mini water. fridge, you could totally do that. Yeah, he could. I don't know why he They have either. even smaller fridges than the like maybe. the dorm ones that my kids have. They've got little bitty ones that are like Dr. Pepper. Yeah, I would personally I wouldn't want it to be seen anywhere either. I'd probably have it put inside a cabinet. And like closed in the doors or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised he doesn't yeah, have that I mean, either now that you think about it. Especially if it wants a cold oh. water. I don't want a cold water. Um, I like happen? tap water, like not cold at all. Um, I love oh, I that Jim Tom's in his back. And of course, he rammed on him for being gone for 90 days paid paternity leave. And what he doesn't understand oh, I love is that, like Danielle. women, when you have a baby, when women have a baby, well, at least when I did, it's changed by now, 22 years ago. I got time before the pregnancy, and then I got time wow. after the pregnancy. Okay, I did, and I have a 21-year-old. I was working up until the day that they told me I was leaking amniotic fluid. And I was like, no, I'm fine. Can't you, do, can't oh, you no. just tell me over the phone if that's what this is? So they were like, no, you need to come in right now. Because I thought I was just leaking. I didn't know what this was, and I thought... Oh, that just meant I would have her sometime soon. <laughs> I'd been leaking amniotic fluid since the night before when I was out at a movie with friends. I was seeing the movie Serendipity with a bunch of girlfriends. But your water so didn't break. Sometimes your water doesn't break. It's like a little tear in the balloon and the little whatever that thing is, the sack. And like if you stand up or lay down, it plugs. Well, did you notice that you... Did you notice well, you were leaving I wet spots? I put in a panty liner when I went to work that Monday morning. But I remember I also went to work with no oh, makeup gosh. on, and I was dying. I called my husband. I said, go home, get my makeup bag, bring that shit up here. I'm not – because all my friends, all my – it was a party when I gave birth. I mean, we had everybody in the room. Anyways. Oh, boy. Enough about that. But I love that he was off. Nope. I love that he had the – um. 90 days paid paternity leave. I hope he snuggled up with that baby. And now he yes. can be back with Rass and Jeff. Bond with that baby. Yes. Bond with, Bond with that baby. 
Because your sleeping schedule's all fucked up. I know, and Jeff like, was like, yeah. I mean, I've got names for that. I don't know. <laughs> but we do know when um, when uh, Jeff and Gage did Monroe. have Monroe, they were putting her skin to skin. I mean, they were absolutely bonding. It was very cute, very cute. Oh, I saw some pictures of that the other day. I would yeah. love to post. I won't because they're private, and I know that that situation with Monroe, but that was yeah. one of the most heart touching yeah. scenes was to see first Gage had her skin to skin. And then Jeff was just like, oh. and just the look. Oh, makes so Danielle's so asking, sweet. do you guys think Jeff will have another child? So for a while, Kelly, do you want to say that you thought he should have another child? And I was always against I it. thought they, um, I, I thought it. Yes. And I, I think before he got with Stu and he was still kind of with Scott was when he was still thinking was about having actively. another child. And then once he got, yeah. And once he got with Stu, um, I still wanted him to. And then you talked about like how stressful it is and especially in a new relationship. And yeah, he doesn't need Monroe another one. No. Linty. She's a, she's a gem, but I think she's yes, Linty. Yes, that's true. Um, I just think for a lot of reasons, I she think one is shit. a, is, plenty i think monroe is the queen and yeah but i really don't feel like yes. he will have anymore i feel like it's i feel like it's it shows failure to him even though it's not but he's only got one embryo left yeah so i feel like if he tries it that would yeah. be so stressful i don't know i think he's it's like a finality a finality of it right now it's it's like nobody really he doesn't really know if it would work or not and i'm sure it's expensive it's very time consuming and then to have a surrogate have it implanted and it not work for again well and yeah, he immediately fired that, that surrogate he was fun. like well your embryo didn't your uterus didn't work so we're off to another one but that makes sense though that makes sense i I think that he she deserved a phone call, but I, I mean I understand like if if you only have one embryo left and you have all this like pressure on it, then you would want to change as much as Danielle's you could. Danielle's asking, is it with Gage? No, they each have the same egg donor. Egg donor. Baby mama. She's not a mama, in my opinion. They both have the same egg donor, and they each implant a different embryos with their own sperm. So Jeff would have his own, and it would definitely be Correct. another 100% biological kid with um, uh, of Monroe's. If Gage had a child, it would be a half brother or sister to Monroe because it would be sister. Gage's yeah. Uh, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyways. Right. Um, love the solar panels uh, phone call, Nancy. And that's what Kian made oh, her thing Nancy. about today. It was hilarious. <laughs> Um, we'll wrap it up with music. Um, but again, cooking kibbutz tomorrow. Chef Stu will be on with Doug making a fancy sausage that goes in all of your orifice of your body, apparently. Uh, dressing. And what else? Potatoes. Crispy potatoes with lovely seasoning. But crispy potatoes. Carbalicious. I'm all for the carbs. Perfect Get for Thanksgiving. Oh. Yes, delicious. Yeah, let's All try right, music. We're ready for we'll music. It, it was kind of funny. It was two songs that I'm not really familiar with. So it was Ooh La La by mm -hmm. Goldfrap. I've never heard that song before. And Hot In It with Charlie XCX, who I, I've heard before, and Tiesto. But they were pleasant. They were fun. Yeah, very it. much so. Very much so. Um, so. So is Monroe, so with Monroe is both. I'm confused. Monroe is Jeff's biological daughter. Um, it, yes. I am curious because we do know that Scott was trying to have, because Jeff shared that on the radio, Scott was trying to have um, a baby at the exact same time. And clearly that didn't go through because yeah. um, he would have, you know, well, because by now we haven't heard anything. Would have been, well, I mean, I guess, you know, I don't follow Scott Anderson, but, you know. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us, Chumpettes. Um, we will be back tomorrow, 6 o'clock California time. And we'll be watching uh, Doug Buden right after that at... Hold on. No. Yes. We're five. He's six. No, we're six. Yes. <laughs> we will be on after cooking kibbutz. I'm so confused.
And also tomorrow's carry yes. is Megan. That'll be fun. Friday is Patty Stinger. Do you think somebody's going to be there with He's not saying. Him, it Patty, almost just... sounds like it's just her. Yeah, because Doug, she insulted Doug before, so I don't think he wants to be on with her. Yeah, she yelled at him one time. They had like a live show. Yeah. But she now has apologized, and but I still think I want to say she fun. gave some hints or something that she and her boyfriend were on a little short break. So I kind of hope she gives some details about that. Inquiring minds want to know. 